Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. Another beautiful day, like they always are lately. So let's jump right in here and see what we got. Uh, fix a building. Transport. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's two of them here. Probably two transports. Transport. Transport. Oh, we got to plow the field job down here. All right. No problems. Timmy looks happy. Wife sleeping, so she, she's happy, I suppose. So let's hop right into our tractor. We'll leave the seed roll right there. Go up and get the plow. Head on down. Plow the field. Wherever it may be. So, in about the last day, I think the day before, yeah, there was a hot fix to the last update. So, if you're one of the people having problems with the their graphics after the .984 update, there was a hot fix to that. And what I'm seeing on the discussion forum, it worked for everyone. I haven't seen anyone said it hasn't worked. So, that's good news for those of you who had that issue. I guess I was one of the lucky ones that didn't have that issue, so yeah. Magical plow is all nice and blue again. Uh, let's pinpoint that so I know where I'm going. And let's head on out. We got enough food. I think we got like one of each meal left in our pocket, backpack, wherever you want to call it. So I hope when we get down here, we get a decent, uh, hopefully it's like a thousand dollar plow job, which means 2,000 social points. But from the size of the fields where we're going, they're all kind of on the small side, maybe. So I don't expect to get too many social points going down here. Uh, yeah, we got full, uh, just double checking our fuel. I thought I did feel it, but I wanted to make sure. Looks like we fertilized that field just in time because that turned. Most of the fields down here are like a hectare to like a hectare and a half, so it's not too big. At least from what I remember, like I said, I don't know. See what we get when we get down here. I was looking at the discussion forum and up in the northwest part of the map where I have that problem with Lydia where I can't I can't E her <laughs> that sounds weird uh, yeah there's still a lot of people having issues with that so I guess that's a continuing problem just looking around to see what field I might be plowing Right now I don't see any particular one. Is it same that we're going to? Nope. Aha. Looks like Allison's aunt. Hi. Great to see you again. Well, she's she's a morning person. Is there something I can help you with? There's a field nearby that needs plowing. Do I look Will like you I do care? it? Uh, looks like someone doesn't care. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Sam, you don't care? Uh, that was funny. There's a field need by these plowing. Will you do it? Does it look like I care? <laughs> it's like Sam doesn't really care about plowing the fields. So that's why we're here. I am seriously hungry, but not hungry enough to eat bark off a tree yet. So we're not going to have no meals just yet. So, yeah, the price was kind of low, so, yeah, it's not that big a deal, but I think, uh, I looked at it quickly, so we'll get roughly like 1,300 social points, somewhere around there. So, it looks like we're going to be plowing a field that's got grass in it. So, I got to be kind of careful when it says your job is complete to get out of the field, because it'll be redeemed, not your field again, so once you start rolling over the grass, yeah, you'll, you'll lose social points. See, now I can drive on the field and 
Nothing. That's good. Although I don't see, it doesn't look like I'm destroying the crops either. Although it's grass, maybe they change where you can't destroy grass. I have no idea. No clue. We'll come down, we're down here to plow the field anyways. Like I said, as long as we get roughly a thousand social points per day, we'll be fine for the rest of the season. Uh, I haven't done the math to, to figure out if we'll reach 900,000 that way. I think we could and would. I'm more interested with little Timmy. I mean, he was born in a day, so I don't know. I don't know if his growth period is going to take a while now or or how that all goes. Like I said, I thought Allison was pregnant for a while, but if you still look at her when she goes to bed, she still looks like she's pregnant, so I'm not sure. Not sure. I'm afraid to give her compliments now because I'm afraid in June, July, and August if she gets pregnant again. That's two kids. Uh, can you rotate the plow? Thank you. So if we get a little bit of time today, which I think we might be able to, we'll have to see how it goes. We'll hook the seed drill back up, head on down, and at least plant the small field. That should cover it with one trip down. I would like to get that done today. And then uh, on a day that we don't get any field work jobs, we'll start seeding the big field. Like I said, I only plan to seed the big field one time this year until September. When we can do the winter sowing, if you will, in September. But I do like the new artificial fertilizer spreader holding, you know, as much as it does. That's going to be great when you go down to those fields. You don't have to make many trips back and forth. With that big trailer that you would think would hold more. But I should look back at the roadmap because I forgot what the September updates kind of included. I think it was mostly bug fixes that they were going to go after. So maybe kind of like the scaffolding when you get out of the car. Uh, maybe some of the NPCs not stuck where you can't uh, take jobs from them or anything else like that. Little bug fixes like that. I know they keep doing map improvements as well. And of course as we know every patch we're supposed to see one new uh, what's the word that they use? Uh, vehicle slash equipment or whatever. I think they may just say equipment. I know there is a patch for the harvester for better texturing, so I'm hoping that when they do that, we can paint the harvester the color that we would like it. I mean, I really don't mind that yellow color and other things. It's that I don't like the looks of it on that on that harvester. Plowing this field, I do got to be just a little bit careful. Unless they fixed it, which I don't know about, but uh, when I get that little ding notice that the job is complete, I kind of need to not make sure I don't run over any grass. But this field is rather small. I don't even see how big the field is. Yeah, it's not even... It's only 0.6 of a hectare, so it's not big at all. So the price we're getting paid is relatively good for the size of the field. Not going to complain about that at all. Now I just realized this field is, must be rather smooth because I don't have the second axle on and I'm not getting pulled too far to the right or the left.
But uh, I will be kind of excited when little Timmy comes out of his crib. Be interesting to see if I can interact with him or what I can do. I'm sure it's not going to say, hey, would you like to go for a catch? I don't think that that's going to be a thing, but... <laughs> Should get my saw and cut these little branches down, but it's not my property. I was kind of hoping, like in the future, for like jobs you can do would be like you know cut down the brush, or you know since we are getting a mower, maybe we can mow certain people's yards. Although it's not like a weed strimmer where you can just carry it in your backpack and do someone's yard. I'm sure a riding mower you'd have to ride it down, which. Let's face it, riding mowers don't travel that fast. It'd be a long journey across the map unless we get a trailer to tow the blonde mower on. But I'm sure that's nowhere near a thing. Although, maybe it is, who knows. I sure as heck don't know nothing. I know there's a few people waiting for the December update when we finally, apparently we get our dog or a chance to have a dog or but that seems like a long ways away yeah it's starting to pull me a little bit a little bit to the right But I think after we finish plowing this, we'll bring the tractor back up to the farm. We'll uh, teleport to the Jack Bear and do that fix the building job. And then we'll figure out... I didn't really look at the uh, transport jobs. I think they're near, sort of near a bus stop. Still no rain in the forecast whatsoever. I'm not sure what's going on there. It hasn't rained in like, I don't know, 40 days maybe, something like that. Hey, how close are we here? 91%. Well, I don't see where I'm destroying crops, so... A little bit of a dip here in the field. All right, now I'm getting hungry, apparently. So when I hear that ding, it's going to give me a couple seconds to get out of the field like it always does. That's why it always takes a second for that arrow to move over. Well, just because I'm curious, I will save the game. I'm not going to lose too many social points here, but just to prove a point. Unless they fixed it. Wait for it to say save game. Uh, let me go over this little bit of grass here. Can I not damage grass anymore? Hmm. Well, this is a bigger patch of grass. Nope, didn't, didn't say I damaged grass at all, so maybe they fixed that. Well, I mean, really you can't, you're not supposed to damage grass anyway. You should be able to roll over grass and be fine. And there's a fence all the way around this field here, so I need to go out the correct way. <laughs> Wait, there's an opening right here. So let's go get paid our like 1200 social points. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna get paid and then I'll have something to eat. I'd like to fix these fences at some point. Thank you. Here's something for you. 
Well, no, thank you. I mean, really, that's not a bad price to get paid for that small of a field. Alright, let me have, uh... Oh, I got more meals than I thought. We'll have, we'll have a hamburger. Hamburger this early in the morning would be fine. Don't think I'd want baked fish this early in the morning. Pizza, I could have any time of the day. But if it's in the morning, it's got to be cold pizza. Cold leftover pizza for breakfast. Alright, so I dropped off the plow, hooked up the seed drill to the tractor, and we jumped up to our jack bear. And now we're looking for... It's like Zoe, or Zoe. I would pronounce it Zoe. Hey. Hey. Behind you. Hello there. Hello. See if she heard if Miranda's pregnant. Did you hear the latest news? What? Miranda is pregnant? Again? Apparently she heard the news. <laughs> is there something I can help you with? A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? Uh, well, okay. Sounds good. I'll take it's care of this. It's just a regular this. house inspection, so... I don't seem to be getting paid the nice uh, big bucks up here anymore like I used to. They caught on. There we go. Just waiting for a little dinger ringer. Thank you. Here's something for you. Moving on up in social points. All right. Oh, looks like one of our transport jobs walked back home. Uh. All right, so we'll hop down here. Take the van. There goes John's barrel rolling down the hill. Uh, where am I going here? Better mark that. Because it's, it's probably not where I think I'm going, so. I gotta remind myself that this, uh, this vehicle uses fuel now. Of course, I'm going way back to when this vehicle never used fuel. So, I got a lot of miles on this van. Never had to put gas into it since I bought it. But now, since it uses gas, I'm going to forget one of these days and just run right out of gas. So I shouldn't say we're almost out of plow jaws because uh, I could get plow jaws for fields that got grass in them. And there's quite a few grass fields around. Pardon me. Don't hit me with a shovel, Anthony. I just want to talk. Hi there. Good morning. Everyone is so chipper. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? There is something I need indeed. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it now. Is it Steve? Sounds good. I'll take care of this. It's gotta be Steve. Being up in this corner. Yep, it's Steve. Alright, uh, I might as well come down and do this one as well. Because more than likely it's going to be Steve once again. And I can't teleport back to the bus stop at the farm because this is the vehicle we teleport to. And take the bus stop down, so... Either way... <laughs> we'll just come down here grab this one. If it's Steve, we'll just teleport back here, drop this one off that we're going to. And then back up to Mary Waters and talk to Anthony about it. Looks like he might be at the church. 
I didn't really look where I was going. I just marked on the map. Yep, and I was too busy trying to see who was fishing. I ran right into a pole. It happens. Actually, a lot of... Is it a Sunday? No, it's a Thursday. All right. I hope it will change someday, after all. No, it won't change at all. Hello, Hello Mr. Three-Piece Suit. Hmm? And fancy sunglasses. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? There is something I need indeed. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it now. Not a bad price. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Hopefully it's Steve. And it appears it will be so. It's not always Steve. Sometimes it's his, uh... Uh, Avery. I was gonna say wife, but... I don't know who's married or not. Steve seems to be having some issues I'm today. Here sure! Here it is! Uh, did I get both of them? Must be I did. So let's teleport back to our little van. No, Anthony is the other one. Here's the package you requested. Was that fast enough, dude? Thank you. Here's something for you. So it looks like we're going to fall just short of 790,000 social points today. But as long as we keep getting four jobs per day, we should have no problem getting 1,000 social points per day. I mean, in theory, if you do four jobs per day at three, you know, three dollars per, which is 600 social points, that's 2,400 social points per day, so we should have no problem reaching our goal. But some days, uh, you probably might get some that, you know, even at 250 apiece, you should, have, you should still do it just fine. Obviously, the more the better, but it is what it is. So I would like to do a drive-by, but I actually got to get out of the van to drop off this package. Here's the package you requested. See how quick that was? Thank you. Here's something for you. Yeah, there, there's your stuff, dude. You enjoy. Just shy of 790. So what day of the month is it? The 26th. We might even reach... Hmm. I mean, could we reach 800,000 by the end of the month? We're going to have to get some pretty good uh, plow jobs in here. Let's go back, drop this off. And then uh, maybe we'll talk to the wife just quickly. And uh, try to hit the car that just spawned right in right in front of me. And uh, we'll hop in our tractor with the seed roll already on it. we got to fill her up. And we'll go down and start seeding the smaller field for the day. And, uh, yeah, that's probably where we'll call it quits. It's probably like 11 o'clock. Yeah, it is 11 o'clock. Wasn't paying no attention to the time. Never really do. Some of you, if you've been here long enough, when, when, what season was it where we worked through the night in the big field? I plowed and then cultivated it in like a day and a half. We never went to bed. That was, uh, that was rough. This gate is always open. I think, I'm thinking my wife is opening it, to be honest with you. I'm glad the grass isn't growing yet. There she is. Honey? Hi, honey. 
It is nice to have the voiceovers for the dialogue, though, so... You really look beautiful today. That's so sweet. You are really nice. Uh, you would think so since we've been married for, like... Darling? Three and a half, four years now, Good whatever it is. Good to see you. I missed you. Because you're always sleeping by the time I get back. And you never nice are up when you, I wake love. up. How are you? I'm perfect, darling. Thank you. If she said she was pregnant, I would fall out of my chair. Darling? So nice to see you, dear. And Dez, if you're watching this, like I asked in the discussion forum, can we please stay in the dialogue? Is there something you need, darling? That's not what I wanted to hit. No. But can we stay in the dialogue the until I'm done? Like this. See, I am fine. off to work. Have a great day. Bye, sweetheart. Well, Lisa. Well, at least I got stuck. Um, at least when we got the voiceovers. I mean, I hate to say this about any voiceovers, but it's not. <laughs> it's not an annoying voice. You know, sometimes you just hear people and, it, and their voices annoy you for some unknown reason. Like I said, if her voice was annoying, I don't know what I would do. Okay, so ooh, we don't have a lot of corn. Uh, change of plans. Uh, yeah, change of plans. Uh, we got tons of lupine, so we're going to do that. Not corn on this one. Lupine. So what I need to do, because the big field is going to be maize. We'll head out of here. I'm going to head down to the agricultural store. I'll buy some maize seed. And I'll meet you over at the field that we're going to plant shortly. Alright, here we are. How big is this field? This yeah, It's under 2 hectares, so we should have no issues seeding this entire field with this one load. Uh, what we had left in storage for maize may have been close. I would have hate got, gotten done say like 93% and had to go all the way back just to grab like 50 kilograms of grain or something. If I end up buying pretty close to 5,000 uh, maize seeds, cost us a little bit. We dropped below 2.6 million. Oh no. But uh, we will be all set for the big field. Which could be next episode. I'm going to want to plant it ASAP only uh, just so when we come down to fertilize it we can take our new fertilizer spreader and do both fields in one trip but I was thinking on the way down here you know it would be nice uh, since it seems like Farmers Dynasty has must be a contract with Amazon or Amazon I don't know how you want to pronounce it I've heard it pronounced two different ways uh, maybe we can get a different seed drill like the, the Condor which I'm about ready to buy in Farming Simulator on our Pacific uh, uh, Pacific Northwest map. But the problem is this tractor would not have enough horsepower to pull that thing around. And really that seed road probably is too big for most of these fields. But hey, we can all dream, right? So yep, this field will have lupine in it, and that big field we will do maize. And usually it takes about three of these to sow that field. But, like always, we got started here. It's going to take me a little bit. Probably take, us, take me about three in-game hours to do, I think, something like that. I'm just guessing. Uh, it's about quarter to one in the afternoon. So I'm going to be taking some laps and I'll see you shortly. It sure looks like we're going to have enough seed to finish this field, which I was sure we would. At least on a full tank. I've been very careful not to overlap too much or leave the sewing machine down in areas that I've already planted. 
if you're kind of new to the game, it's not like, uh, let's talk about the giant in the room. <laughs> giant farming simulator. Uh, it's not like farming simulator where as you're seeding and you go over parts of the field that you already seeded that you don't plant more seed. In Farmer's Dynasty, as long as you got the, the sewing machine down and you're in a field, you're planting. So like if I were to take a hard left right here, uh, am I going to have enough seed to do what I need to do? 32% left? Yeah. So you can see the grain in the tank is at 275 and slowly dropping. When I loop around here, I'll keep uh, right clicking. So now I'm on a part of a field that I've already seed, seeded. You can see I'm still planting seed. So just be careful of going around willy nilly on your field. It's not like farming simulator where you get over a part you already seeded and it doesn't seed anymore. This machine was constantly seed as long as you're on a field. So what you need to do if you're if you're trying to conserve seed, uh, this tank will usually do about a two hectare size field. But you got to be careful. So like when I get down to here, I'll pick up the sewing machine. You know, we're talking little pieces of grain here and there, but it adds up. In all honesty, if I didn't do that in doing this field, I may not have had enough seed to finish it. You could waste an extra 10% of your tank on a 2 hectare field by overlapping too much. Just a little tip for you in case you didn't know that. Most people probably do at this point, but in case you didn't know and you're new, now you know. And don't ask me about the old seed roll, the one that you get from doing quests. It's been so long since I've used that thing. That was back in the day. Uh, of course, I'm going back to last December. Crop destruction was always a thing. So, like, planting this field here, just by picking up the sewing machine and going around the tire tracks of the tractor and or anything, I would be damaging seed right now. You'd be killing seed or the parts you were. So, the most, the most I ever got when that was a thing was like 90% of the field seeded. Uh, you can see we're we're up to 93% right now, or 94. It was like 90% the best I could get it done. So you, if you really want to do a good job, you kind of had to start in the middle of the field and work your way out, <laughs> which seems kind of weird. But it was a pain in the butt. It didn't take long for him to fix that though. But enough people complained about that. They said, okay, there's no, no more crop destruction until crops are in the first growth stage. Although grass, I'm not sure at this point. But I think uh, when I was doing this, and I was thinking of grass, we may do a little test. I think we'll try to find a grass field that's not ours. I'll save the game before I do it. We'll just drive through it and see, see how it goes. But we are just about done here, and I'm going to have... Well, i got 18% left in this tank. So 880. I may... Uh, if I... If I we, if we did corn from what we had, I probably could have done it. Uh, 880. Yeah, I think we would have been able to, uh, to, to do it, but... The way my luck has been lately, I would have thought not. But uh, how do we get to 98.96? Almost 99% seeded. So we'll take that and run with it. Let's go through this little river ditch. Well, it's not really a river. And we'll head on back to the farm. Empty the seed roll. Put the seed roll away. Although we'll probably use it tomorrow. To put corn in that big field. And then I think we'll do is we'll grab the van. I'll save the game. I'll grab the van. And uh, we'll have some fun. Well, 
I'll have to drive around and try to see if I can find a grass field to see if grass is destructible now. It used to be, and if they fixed that, I did not read that in any patch notes somewhere. I may have overlooked it or forgot about it. But uh, I'll meet you back at the farm, and we'll hop in the van and have a quick ride around. So I'll see you in a second. All right, I got the seed drill back in here. Empty the seed drill. Uh, don't lower it yet, because there we go. Now lower it. We'll leave it right in there for now. Leave our tractor here. Thank you, scaffolding. All right, so before I forget, let me save the game in one of my spots here. Always good to have backup saves in case something weird goes on, because it's happened to me a couple times, but then again, I've been able to save, figure out why my other saves wouldn't load. Wait for traffic to go. So, I was thinking on a quick drive back that uh, I have a grass field just down here. So we'll try our own grass field first. And then it shouldn't take us too long to find a grass field from someone else. They like to plant grass around here quite often. Don't ask me why. I think I own this field here. Uh, it's grass. Owner's me. Alright, so you can't damage grass anymore? Or did they make it on the first growth stage you can't damage crops? Well, let's drive over here. This is, uh... Can I see the field, please? This is P. No, you can damage peas. Alright, so we know that's a thing. This looks like grass. So they don't... No, this is maize. So I'm not damaging maize in the first growth stage. Alright. Learning a few things here. Maybe. But if we're going this far, let's uh <laughs> let's find a field that we probably can do some some damage on. Okay, this is soy. I'm not damaging any crops in this field. This is uh, getting interesting here. So I can damage peas on the first growth stage. Uh, let's see what these fields are here. Oh, there we go. So this is soy. And you can see your social points plummeting down. This is canola, but I'm not damaging canola. Yeah, there you go. So your social points, as you can see, go down, but not drastically. But you can see by just doing that little stuff right there, I lost about 3,000. Well, we'll just say actually it's 2,000 social points. I just got to remember now, don't save the game at this stage. But we'll head back to the farm and we'll call it an episode. So I'll see you again in a second. As I learned some things, but got more confused. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in a second. Alright, here we are back at the homestead. Fire's going, so we get a nice beautiful view of the pond. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you watching, as always, and I'll see you next time on the Day on the Farm. But until then, have a good one.